Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am doing a wardrobe declutter reorganize. I've been meaning to film this video for ages, weeks, and I'm finally psyched up and ready for it. I know it's probably going to be a long video, so I'm giving you a warning, but it's going to be interesting. I want to declutter before I go on my overseas trip in August. I'm going to list all my unwanted items on eBay, so if something appealed to you or you just want to take a look, I'll put the link in the description box down below. But yeah, so let's get stuck into my wardrobe. The way I have my wardrobe organized is outerwear first, so coats, jackets, cardigans. Then I have knitwear, I hang up my knitwear. Then I have shirts and long sleeve tops. And then I go into t-shirts and then short sleeve tops. Then I have some tanks, some camis, and then this end little section here is just stuff that I wear on a daily basis. Nothing really exciting for you to see. They're just old rags, which I can't bed apart with because they're just so cozy and comfy. The hangers I use, they're all the same. I get them from Target, actually. You get about 30 in a box for $9, if I remember correctly. They're awesome. Your clothes don't slip off. They're quite thin, so you can pack a lot in your wardrobe. They don't take up much space. And it's all cohesive and neat. I'll start off with my outerwear. Not getting rid of any of my outerwear. I love it and wear it all. I'll quickly show you my collection. A summer kimono from Sloan Rouge. A sleeveless cardigan that I got from Calypso overseas. A linen long sleeve striped cardigan from Senso. Goddess knitted beautiful in between seasons cardigan with a little hoodie. This is great for the in between seasons. Cashmere little zip hoodie with the peace sign from America. Just a little cheapo stars cardigan. My free people fringy cardigan with the hoodie. My free people denim jacket with the lace panels. My lucky brand military jacket. Sports girl motorcycle leather jacket. My something else black blazer. My spree sleeveless wing cheetah. My Oxford wool coat with the wide sleeves. It's a gorgeous coat. And this classic pea coat that I got from review when I used to work for them. So next section is my knitwear section. Not parting with anything from this section either, guys, but I'll quickly show you my knits. This summer knit by something else. This LNA knit with a hoodie. Very lightweight, great for the in-between season. This gorgeous knit that I got from La Tarte in Hawaii by John and Jen. Gorgeous, love. My two Zara bell sleeve knits. Free People flowy turtleneck, love. General Pants crop sweater. Just bought this this season as well. Zara puffy sleeve sweater. Jamison cashmere sweater with the mesh panel. The lilac vintage sweater. This poncho I got from shopbop.com. It's from the brand Love Sam. It's quite gorgeous. I don't really wear it much anymore. I pair it with this cashmere v-neck that I got from um, south of the border and they keep me really warm and cozy. I haven't worn it for long but it is classic and I do love it so I'm not letting it go. So far a fail at decluttering. Okay next section shirts and blouses let me go through it and see if I come up with anything here. Okay, so I did find one piece I can declutter from my shirts and blouses section. It's this and B blouse in a beautiful, very soft, peachy, corally color. It still has the tag attached. I'm terrible. It was from Shopbop. I don't know why I haven't worn this. I guess it just doesn't really suit my lifestyle anymore. I love it. I think it's gorgeous. It's just not something I've reached for in my wardrobe. As beautiful as it is, I'm happy to pass it on. It's been more than six months since I've purchased it. I've not worn it, so it's going. So I'll quickly just show you my shirts and blouses collection. My free people with the 
lace panel detail my free people very sheer summery shirt my free people pirate shirt my free people plaid shirt my free people military shirt with this gorgeous sequins army detail isn't it gorgeous i love this shirt my zara white shirt this pretty blouse that i got from leona edmondson when i used to work in maya i love this this is gorgeous it's so elegant it's silk very cute very drapey now moving along to my long sleeve tops So that didn't take me any time at all. A couple of pieces are in the wash, so they're obviously not going anywhere because I wear them all the time. I'm wearing one at the moment, which is from Calypso St. Bart in Hawaii. This one which was just a little cheap. I don't know even where I got it from. I think it was online, very cheap. It cost me nothing, but it's nice and thick and keeps me warm. It's a great layering piece, so that's not going anywhere. This Free People Henley, which is quite casual and comfy so now i move into my t-shirts uh, there might be a couple actually that i want to get rid of in here okay there's a couple of things that i'm going to pass on they're my free people muscle shirts i do love them and i have worn them quite a bit not too much they're still in excellent condition but I just don't reach for them anymore I don't know if this shape flatters me as much as some other t-shirt tops in my wardrobe so I have one in the white and one in this gorgeous like deep purple navy color I'm going to pass those on and I'll quickly show you what I have in my top section my gorgeous little free people sweat top with the pearl detail my led zeppelin tee my calypso white tee my mavi navy and white stripe tee this is one that i just picked up the other day from the central coast in long jetty it was 20 bucks i have a couple in the wash also i'm always wearing my white t-shirts now i'm going to go through my tops just pretty little dress tops Okay, I didn't declutter anything again. This is not going very well. I'm not really getting rid of much at all. Anyway, let me show you my tops. So this is a plaid sleeveless shirt from Free People. This is another top I bought from the Central Coast the other day. This was also 20 bucks. I wore this in my makeup tutorial for glasses wearers. Free People, cute little top. This is just a cheap and nasty tie-dye but I absolutely love the color it was a dress I cut it short to make it a top this little top I got from Byron very cute again this is a little El Cheapo top I bought from Cronulla five bucks so this is really the back but I wear it as the front and this was the front which I wear at the back I took off the tag I'm all about a bared back rather than my midriff so that was five bucks, never getting rid of that one. A Free People little knit top, which I've also worn in one of my videos. This beautiful knit I got from Melbourne at a huge discount. It was really expensive. This gorgeous little artisan top I got from Thailand. So next up we have tanks. I'll quickly go through that again. Nope, cannot part with any of these. Look, I can't help it. I love everything in my wardrobe. What can I say? All right, so this one, Lucky Brand, cute little tee. Love the embroidered American flag. My gorgeous Joy little tank. My Alexander Wang tank. These two little tunics I got from Calypso St. Bart, one in white, one in navy. This I got from my work. Before I started to work there, I bought this from them. It's an Indiana sort of tunic with a cropped top and a longish back my free people little fringe tank so now we're in the cami section i don't really have many camis and i don't think i'm going to get rid of any no i only have like four or five i'll quickly show you them this strapless little lilac top that i got from hawaii notice a pattern in my wardrobe i'm really into violet 
all shades of the spectrum. It's just a beautiful color. I love it. I find it really suits me. It suits green eyes. So I've got this little Goddess of Babylon cami, Rachel Pally, my gander white linen cami that's got the sleeves that fall off the arm and my little artisan cami from Thailand which is similar to um, this top here but just in a different color palette. I'm not even going to show you guys the end bit here, the sweats that I wear after work. Not interesting. Okay, so that's one half of my wardrobe done. I do have a drawer down here that houses all my cozies and little things like that. So I'll quickly rifle through that. This is my shorts collection. I know I'm going to get rid of some things in here because, well, you've got to start covering up sometime. And those short shorts, the time is nigh. Okay, I've got a couple of things I'm going to declutter. First, my free people little short shorts. As much as I love the colour and as much as I think they're so hot, not wearing them anymore. No. And my little page denim cut off skinny shorts. They are so cute, but they draw attention to my very unattractive legs. So these have to go. But what I am keeping are my Lucky Brand cutoff shorts. These shorts I just wear to bed. They're beautiful, soft little um, sweatshirt that I bought from America. I'm keeping these Zoe Carson sweatshorts. I've had them for ages. Just a little leather trim on the side. So cute. These little mink pink shorts. I don't have any floral shorts, so I'm going to hold on to them. And these Leon and Harper striped linen shorts are just classic, and I love them so. Now I'll go through my swimwear collection. I know I have a few two-piece options in here that i got to get rid of. Okay, I got rid of a few things. A couple of tops, separates. This one's Rhythm, little bandeau black top. Another one by Roxy with a little bow detail in the middle. A high-waisted stripe bottom from Sea Folly. A little skimpy, I can't believe I used to wear these things. A little skimpy Baku sort of tribally design. Another little Baku bottom. Very cute. I hardly wore that. Another one by Sea Folly, just in plain black. Excellent. They're still in excellent condition. I hardly wore them. And this is just a wetsuit that I bought when I started swimming for exercise. I wore it a few times, but then I stopped going swimming because it damaged my hair so much, even mm. with a cap on and, and all the you know, swimming paraphernalia. My hair just got so damaged. I just thought, yeah, I do want to get in shape, but I don't want to ruin my hair with this chlorine treatment every day. So the, the swimming went, yeah. So I'm excited for that section. That was a lot, but it's probably not what people really want to buy secondhand, right? Swimwear that's been used, but I would if I liked it. I don't mind buying something. You're going to wash it. Who cares, right? I'll show you the pieces I kept. So I did keep one two-piece because I do like to sunbathe out in the backyard and get no tan lines and get a, a tanned stomach. So I just kept these high-waisted bottoms and this beautiful bandeau strapless top that I got from Hawaii. I love the print. I love the colors. It's just gorgeous. And that was, who was that by? Beach Riot. So I'm keeping one two-piece set. Well, they're not really a set. I just match them up. This is fairly new. This one piece I bought from work. It's by Amuse Society with all the fringes. My Zulu and Zephyr strapless one piece, which I love. Love that color. And I just have this palm tree one piece that I've worn to death. I no longer wear it, but I'm never going to get rid of it purely because it's got palm trees on it and it would be like giving away a piece of my soul. So not happening. Now for my shoes. I really don't have that many pairs of shoes to declutter, but I will go through it and assess my shoe situation and let you know what I come up with.
I just want to go through the shoes that I have with you guys. These are my Lace Up Navy Shoots sandals. Lace Ups also by Free People in a tan rusty colour. I was going through a phase where I was obsessed with Lace Up sandals. These sandals I bought from a boutique in Thailand called Sana, I think. They're um, fur, animal fur, leather and suede. My Free People Ludlow sandal booties. I have two pairs of Converse down here, a white pair and a chambray pair. My Fifi flats from South of the Border. I love you. My new Uggs, my ancient Greek leather sandals. These sandals I got from Terrigal years ago, which I still love. The embellishment is uh, edgy and a little tough, which I love. I love the gold, just gorgeous sandals. These witchery ones are also very old. Just a loop around the big toe and a strap around the ankle and that's it. I love them so much that when I went to Bali, I had them made in just a plain tan pair. A couple of pairs I am going to pass on are these lace-up sandals which I got from a boutique in Terrigal a couple of years ago. That boutique no longer exists. Just zip back and tie up. I love them so much that I bought them in a size 39, which I'm not. I'm a size 38. I got away with it, but it's time to pass them on. I bought these Trey Torn sneakers from Hawaii. I didn't take sneakers with me, I think. A few years ago and we were doing so much walking I bought these just to walk around in. And they're still in really good condition but I just love my Converse or my Nikes to walk around in. I haven't really reached for these so time to let these go as well. So that's it for this side. I'm going to quickly set up the camera on the other side which houses my dresses and bottoms and I'll be back very soon. We meet again. Okay guys this is my dress section and my bottom section. So I'll get stuck right into it. So I have a few maxis and then some cocktail dresses, some long sleeve, some short sleeve. This is a gorgeous maxi by Goddess of Babylon. Again, halter neck, linen, beautiful crisscross back. This is a beautiful maxi by Magali Pascal, which I purchased from Bali. The lace detail on this dress is stunning. It's romantic, elegant, and something I will never get rid of. It comes with a slip underneath, so it's not totally sheer, just sheer in all the right parts. This is a long sleeve cocktail dress that I got from Melbourne. It was on sale for $50. A vintage white lace shift dress. Another little shift dress with a lace um, neckline just very simple this cocktail dress is from free people I'm sorry about the noise guys my father has decided to mow the lawn right now this is my free people cocktail dress with um, beading embellishment in a nude creamy color so I've decided to declutter these two This little cocktail dress is from Grace and Heart, nude with lots of embellishment, especially around the neckline and the back. It has a tiered little skirt. It reminds me of a 20s flapper girl dress. It's quite stunning, even more so in real life. I am going to pass this one over only because I've never worn it. The tag's still attached. $359 but this dress I bought from Terrigal from a little boutique underneath the Crown Plaza it was $55 I absolutely love this lace neckline and the color is to die for it's just so me the back is just beautiful with these little buttons that have the lace inside adorable and it did have a split but I took it to a tailor and got the split sewn up because it is short I mean who needs a split when a dress is this short now I love this dress so much but is it too short for me to wear I don't know maybe if I wore it with ankle boots and not a pump it would cover up more of my legs and tone it down a lot more so as much as I don't want to I'm gonna pass this one on 
Goodbye, my beautiful lilac dress. Okay, so that's it for my cocktail dresses. You know what? No, I can't do it. I cannot part with this dress yet. I think I still may have a really small window where I can wear this. I have this beautiful um, shrug type of cardigan in a beautiful wool by T Lux. And I have this cute little number here. Can you see the back? I don't know if you can see the back, but how cute is that? Adorable. Free people do the most beautiful things. So now, oh my God. Now I'm gonna quickly flick through my resort dresses. Okay, nothing I wanna declutter in this section, but I'll quickly show you my collection. This long maxi dress by Zulu and Zephyr. This gorgeous maxi, again knitted by Goddess. Obsessed with this color. This cutesy little number which I only wear as a cover-up to the beach by Stevie and Me, an old boutique from Cronulla. Another little cover-up from Thailand a few years ago. Absolutely love this colour. On my recent trip to Thailand, another cover-up. This is another one I purchased from Thailand. I'm a sucker for any kind of fringing. This is just a cheap animal print caftan. Every girl needs a little bit of animal print in her life. This little tiger lily dress I bought from eBay I think it's so adorable. It reminds me of ancient Greece for some reason. I think it's this, this trimming. Beautiful scoop back with a tie, little frill sleeve, so cute. This gorgeous dress is by Jen's Pirate Booty from Hawaii. This dress was actually a cream color and it went in the wash with something blue and came out blue, which I love. So I had it for about two years in the cream and now it's like a new dress in blue. A more traditional kind of caftan, which I bought from Anne Hem in Byron Bay. A very bright Ebon Ive dress. Love the back again with the tie. Another piece from Ebon Ive. You can wear this as a dress or with denim cutoffs as a little top. This tunic I just purchased from Thailand. And this is a very simple but very stunning free people tunic that I love to wear over my cosy. It's got very deep splits on the side. So over your cosy or with denim cutoffs. Now I move into my casual dresses. Nothing I wanna get rid of in here, but most of these dresses I've had for years. It's amazing how much wear I've gotten out of them. I'll quickly show you them. A little halter neck paisley dress that I got from Cronulla. This is another little El Cheapo fringe dress that I bought from Terrigal. This is just a basic stripe shift that I got from the brand Piper from Maya. This is quite recent purchase from my work. It was only $50 I think, but I love the stripes. And again, this is one of my favorite colors. This little dress I bought from Thailand, our most recent trip. This is a little Roxy strapless dress. This is actually a free people top, but because I'm so short, I can just get away with it as a dress, but only for the beach. This is a gorgeous free people one shoulder dress, which I bought on my recent trip to Hawaii, but have never worn yet. I can't wait to find an occasion to wear it too. With little ankle boots, I think it's so sweet. The color's gorgeous. And another free people lacy creamy dress with a frilled skirt. Now I'll move into my long sleeve dresses and see if I can get rid of anything in this section. I should really call this video my showing you my wardrobe video because I'm not really decluttering much at all. I'm looking on my bed now at all the items that I've decluttered and there isn't that much. Free people, free people, free people. The color is what drew me to this dress. Free people, again sort of ties in. This is made by a French label, Marge, and it's wool and it's stunning and you can dress it up or dress it down. It's got handy little pockets. It's just gorgeous. These two little shift dresses I've had for years and will never get rid of. This is a Ellie Tahari vintage white wool shift and my whisk plaid shift dress. Now we move on to bottoms. I don't think I'm going to have much luck here either, but let's move on.
no decluttering here either but i'll quickly show you my bottoms tree of life maxi goddess of babylon maxi skirt tree of life stripe maxi skirt i actually cut the slits into this on the sides because it was just block full there was nothing to it it was just a long maxi skirt and i cut the slits and tied little knots in each corner and made it a little bit more interesting my little sass and buy tailored shorts my free people denim skirt my free people uh wool sweatpants in the khaki which i love khaki is one of my favorite colors my silk pants which i bought from work these are by denang and then i just have my sweatpants my adidas sweatpants and my page denim jeans a black pair a distressed black pair and an indigo pair and then just a pair of khaki cargos and that is all i've just adjusted the camera so you can see my heels up here three pairs three pairs of heels are the only heels i own freelance nude and sort of clear pumps schultz strappy sandals in a beautiful taupe color and my south of the border wooden wedges with the cuffs around the ankle down here i have all my boots ankle boots and long and i know that there is one pair that i am going to pass on so i'll quickly take you through them fry riding boots my fry motorcycle ankle booties cross ankle boots with a heel quite a high heel actually a little bit of fringing and gorgeous suede color my isabel marant ankle basely booties i have had these for so long and worn them to absolute death i got them from ebay for 250 dollars bargain they were hardly worn and finally this pair of suede top booties they're by the brand nude i don't really wear these because i have my other hoss ones with the um heel and the little bit of fringing which i think are more my aesthetic so i'm going to pass these on and that brings us to the end of this video which i shall rename tour of my wardrobe video because i didn't really declutter as much as i had hoped but there is still a few pieces here on my bed that i can list on ebay and as i mentioned earlier in my video i'll put the link in the description box down below if you wanted to take a peek if there's anything that appeals to you well that's a wrap for this video guys i hope you enjoy taking a look inside my wardrobe and checking out all my clothes i know it was a long video i hope i didn't bore you too much hope you found it interesting as always thank you so much for watching please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next one bye bye